More fun in Division Four. Perry head coach Matt Tabler joins us. Brought to you by Dominion. And what a turnout, turnaround it's been for the Commodores. 7 and 16 last year, a first round sectional exit. 14 and 3 this year, 5 and 1 the NWCC. Coach, what's the, the key to the turnaround for you guys? I think experience, you know, um, going 7-16 and 16 last year, you had to keep telling the kids we knew we would be getting everybody back mm -hmm. and, you know, just telling them that we have to learn from these losses. And, um, you know, they really made a commitment in the spring, in the summer, and, and again in the fall. And I, I think experience has been the big key this year. Mark Schein, we were talking before the show, and he said, did you ever notice, notice how Coach Tabler coaches? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, anytime they get a rebound, he's yelling, layup, get me a layup. And that's Perry basketball, isn't it? You're going. We have to use our speed. Uh, we know we're not outside shooters. <laughs> uh, we've never claimed to be, and, but we know we can get to the basket, and we're tough to guard when we get to the basket. And that's what we preach, and we just try to keep reminding them every time we get a rebound. Pretty good one-two punch. Bruce Hodges, Jared Pollen, uh, two guys that could get 1,000 points for their career this year. What have they meant to your team as far as leadership as well as scoring? Um, they're leaders on and off the floor. Um, they're, they're gym rats. They're, they're, they're at the gym, you know. Um, they're the first ones in after school shooting free throws. Um, it, it, they're just tremendous, you know, just great leaders. And um, they've really helped everyone else. They've given confidence, actually, to everybody else. And everybody's filling the roles. And, and I think that's the reason for the 14-3 and three season so far. A, a lot of the seeding, I would imagine, came down to that NWCC championship on Friday. USV wins, so they get the one seed. They've got one loss. You guys are 14 and three. You get the three seed, Arlington, as we heard from Coach Vermillion. Two losses there, so you had a choice. If you get through your first round opponent, do you go towards the USV side or do you go towards uh, the Arlington side? You guys chose Arlington. Take me through the process. Oh, there was a lot of mixed emotions. <laughs> you know, we didn't get back till late last night uh -huh. from Parkway, and we, you know, we had a coaches meeting and we all voted. Then we revoted and revoted. <laughs> really? We got up this morning, went to church, and revoted again on the way there. And you know, it was it was a coin flip. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we obviously know how we have to beat Ridgemont sure. first game, but yep. you know, it was a coin flip to either play USV or Arlington. Both well coached, very good basketball teams, and uh, you know, Arlington just was you know the tails. You've got Bath coming up. That, that'll be a nice kind of tune up for the postseason with the league. Part of your slate over, and then Macomb as well. What do you hope to get out of those last three games? Bakken's also on the schedule. Yeah, actually, we play Tuesday against Corey Ross, and okay. it's a makeup game as well. There's so many makeups, it's, it's so hard, hard to, to keep, keep up with. <laughs> Very hard to keep up with. But we're just going to take it one game at a time, work on some things that we want to use for the tournament, mm -hmm. um, and just try to build that momentum going into the tournament. All right. Thank you, Coach Matt Taylor. Brought to you by Dominion. A great turnaround for Perry. They hope to have a nice deep tournament run in the sectional at Kenton, and then if they get through that to the district, that'll be in Wapakoneta this year.